Hello guys, this is Promise You. Today's video, I'll be going over a tier list from the best supers to the worst supers for Trials of Osiris. I'll be elaborating each super individually in terms of how affected they are in the current state of Trials of Osiris 2023. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so let's see. All right, so I believe six shooters. Not it's trash only because it's not really meant for trials. It's more meant for. Um, quick play playing uh you know just trying to go for kill feeds seventh columns and stuff like that. that's for what it's really meant for so that's why i'm putting it under the trash for trials of osiris because this is about trials of osiris not for quick play um so dead shot is going to be trash and then uh you're going to be running marksman it's, it's it's i think it's a tier to be honest because of on car trip mines calibans you can run so many pretty good you can run a lot of like pretty good uh builds with uh golden gun the only drawback to it is that it's um, even with tier 10 intellect, it's kind of a bit slow on how you uh, on when you get your super. So if you really want to win those early uh, early rounds with super or having a super early round, um, the golden gun wouldn't be the play. You would probably run. You definitely would run blade barrage and blade barrage was. That, I think blade barrage is S tier in my opinion. It's definitely high up there because of how fast you can get your super. You running a solid build with it as well, along with uh, blade barrage, and uh, it counters bubbles as long as you pop the, the blade barrage inside of a bubble, and um, and kills the well of radiance. And then if you can hit your blades against a thunder crash, you can get results out of that as well. So I definitely think as it's pretty S tier super. It is whiffable though. It, the tracking isn't very consistent sometimes, but. With that, even with that drawback, I think it's still in a pretty good spot for being in an S tier because of that. All right, so um, spectral blades is trash. No one uses that. Condition finality being a thing existing in the game just kind of puts uh, spectral roaming super just in the gutters. So it, it definitely has to be in the trash for that. I definitely apologize for that. Um, let's see. Uh, Mobius Quiver is basically trash. No one uses Mobius Quiver. Um, I definitely have to put it like in this order for sure. Uh, Gathering Storm. Um, for some reason, I did some play testing with this, and for some reason, it killed the it, it destroys a bubble and also kills the players inside the bubble. But then, I did more test runs and it wasn't doing that consistently. So I don't exactly know um, to where to put this exactly. Cause it's not really trash, but I, I would say it's mid. But there's not very there's not many builds to run with this uh, with the arc supers for hunters. There's really not many builds to run it with. Like there's not really good exotics to pair with arc supers for hunters. Like you have maybe Shinobu's or you have uh, what is it uh, Shinobu's and then Lucky Raspberry or something like that. There's really not many good things you can run with this. And the fragments aren't really the best for arc hunters anyways. So I, I think it's like in the mid in the mid tier to be honest with my in my eyes. Um, same as arc staff it's like mid but like right there um striker titan just trash no one it's, that's never used in uh high high tier pvp matches same as solar solar titans uh, that's not used at all unless you're like a 0.9 kd player um let's see nova warp is mid nobody really, really uses nova warp and uh this this nova bomb is just cat water. No one uses freaking nova bombs. Cataclysmic would be technically the best out of the out of the two out of the three. So nova cataclysmic would be the best out of the three for sure. So I would probably rank it like this in the structure. Um, Sentinel. Um, I'd probably put it like this. So Sentinel is like it's all right in my opinion, but it's just not in the meta. It's not really up the high tier PVP list in my opinion. Um, Stasis Warlock is, I think it's honestly A tier in my opinion. I think it's pretty good because of the abilities, like Stasis Freeze Wells and then um, the Melee Freeze, the Cold Snaps with Osmi NC Gloves. It, 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 it's pretty nasty with, with what the plays you can do with that. But the super itself, people don't really allocate tier 10 intellect towards it, they just kind of allocate towards the abilities primarily. But other than that, the super isn't really bad, it's just. If you're not really running 100 intellect, you probably won't see your super until like late round eight or something like the at the final game point winning round. So that's I, I would think it would be around A tiered for sure. Maybe I, I'll probably put it like at least good. Yeah, like top good tier honestly in my opinion. Behemoth is hmm. 
it's good because of the, the abilities like stasis slide you can pair that with antis the stasis slide titan is so nice with the antis you can do a lot of things with that the slide uppercut melee is really nice the the melee ability where you can you know melee in the air and then like kind of like you know do some nice little air movement and stuff like that it's pretty nice as well but the super itself isn't really that great though like nobody uses it for the super they use it for the ability of spamming uh, the, the notorious behemoth clan use it for like the overshield farming and then resistance as well but that got neutered and they don't really use it for the supers so um, I think it's good and it definitely I don't think it's better than stasis warlock though my opinion on, on that um, tether the snares are really nice. You can counter anti player just throwing smokes. It's nice. It's kind of hard to open up with a tether though. You don't really play tether aggressively. You don't open up with a tether. You have to pop it or play tether situational. But the downside about it is that you can easily bait a tether. You can easily shoot it out and then proc it and then just kind of wait until the until it goes away or just shoot it out one or the other. But I've seen some good players use it because of the invisibilities and what it has to offer so the invis and then um you can run grab time forfeit they usually use, use, pair it with like a gl or a fusion rifle and then it works really well with their gameplay so i, I think it's at least a good good tier for in my honest opinion for that sole reason i think stasis revenant hunter i think it's s tier to my in my opinion dust fields are so nice running with it you can run backers and then you know counter anti users because of backers you get a a damage bonus for both arc and stasis weapon element so that makes it pretty high on the list as well in my opinion um very strong very strong uh let me see stormcaller i would say it's mid like actually no it could be good you can run like getaway art like, like it could be like this like, you can run like getaway artists and then get amplified off the rip and then have like enhanced arc souls and the arc souls are pretty annoying to play against and then uh, arc slide melee is really nice too, but other than that, I don't really see this uh, being viable in like high tier PvP matches though. You can make it work though, but it just depends on your playstyle, for sure. So I think it's like at least it's a good, almost near on mid, but it's not like better than Stasis Warlock for sure though. Um, Dawnblade is it's like it's good. I think it's better than actually if I were to put Dawnblade, it'd probably be like right here. Dawnblade, it has so much uh, it has so much stuff for their kit. Like you run Phoenix Dive, well, yeah, the fragments are really good. The Touch of Flame, Icarus Dash, and then you know, like all the all that stuff just is really nice for just Dawnblade. But you wouldn't be running Dawnblade. Most of the people will be running Wall of Radiance, and Wall of Radiance is definitely up on the S2 list. So in terms of solar Warlocks, and um, the Brood Weaver, it's kind of like a uh, a Walmart version of Blade Barrage. It's really not that great. It's kind of mid. I think it'd probably go like right here, in my honest opinion. Uh, Beyblade Titan Super probably go like right over here. No one uses this shit at all. It's probably like super mid. It's probably like gonna go like right here, like right here probably. Like, if that makes sense. Like right there. Yeah, I think it goes like right there, on my honest opinion. The Titan Beyblade. Strand Super is okay for the suspension with the with the barricades, which is nice. But the Super, I don't really see much uh, usage with the Super at all. Like it's not seen much in the high tier stack matches for PvP. Um, Strand Hunter, I think it's A tier. Uh, the movement, the suspension, the air dive abilities, and like getting getting map control faster is really nice and being able to grapple around areas is really really fucking amazing so i think it's i think it goes in the a tier for sure chaos reach uh fuck chaos reach i don't know man chaos reach is probably like right here in my opinion it's like mid but actually i would just say it's trash to be honest yeah it's just trash nobody's, nobody uses that uh as you all know these two are going to be up top bubble and thunder crash this is basically my results for my tier list for all the supers for trials of osiris and what you should be running so you know thunder crash is really amazing it's as you all know it's literally one of the strongest things in the game because of uh antis peacekeepers being a thing 
do much or just, like all that stuff it has so many possibilities you have uh, knockout touch of thunder with two lightning aids and then you have a uh, juggernaut as well and it's just very strong for that reason bubble is really nice for having it really quickly it's five minutes and 19 seconds it's really nice Grim scatter nades overshield barricades and then bashing stuff like that and having bubbles give your teammates over light it's also very viable when you do carries have your carries uh, run a bubble or a well if they're a well lock or a titan so these are very viable for the for the carries to run because it, it's, it's kind of easy they can't whiff these two supers it's hard to whiff them in conjunction to other supers so if you're ever doing a carry these two supers are like one of the best supers to run if you're doing if they're doing a carry if you're doing a carry my bad um of course blade brush and stasis warlock uh, stasis hunter um like i said dust fields are super strong you can pair that up with bacris and then same as blade brush you can pair that up with amakaras or calibans the fragments are really nice for the hunter and then you know that nice handling aspect that gives you like really nice insane handling um I definitely think this is uh, my S tier list for sure. And then my A tier, good tier, and mid tier, trash tier. So if you guys liked this video, let me know. If you want a copy of this tier list uh, template, let me know down below in the comments if you guys want me to send you guys it. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yep, and peace. Love you guys.